Hello, I'm Greg Kasavin, and welcome to GameSpot's first ever live gameplay marathon, in which I'm going to be playing The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion for 12 hours straight. This is the Xbox 360 version of the game. I just got the game earlier this morning, and I've only played it for about an hour, just so I don't end up uh, fumbling with the controls embarrassingly while you have to watch. Um, but I'm, I'm basically just going to be going through in order to give you an impression of what this game is actually like, uh, and also just to give you some insight into how the reviewer's twisted mind works, because, uh, boy, I have a lot of time I need to spend with this game before I'm going to, uh, before I'm going to deliver a timely and accurate review to you. So I figured, uh, what better way to, to give you something to whet your appetite than to show you what this game is all about uh, as I dive right in. So let me switch on back to um, uh, my cool little system here. Uh, here's the game. Here am I. And I, uh, believe me, I'm going to get my face out of here uh, soon enough. But for now, let's just get started. Um, Oblivion is, of course, the latest game in the Elder Scrolls uh, series, which has for a long time been uh, just this just this really open-ended and really deep uh, role-playing series. Uh, the last game in the series, Morrowind, is something that people have been playing I was born for years. So. Let's years listen. Ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Sounds a little like Jean-Luc Picard there, doesn't it? Uh, that's, of course, uh, the voice of Patrick Stewart as uh, the Emperor. You. I have seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. It does involve an orc with large axes, uh, but I'll start with this here, a katana. Uh, the game's interface looks really nice. I'm really uh, impressed with this system. You just use the, the little um, shoulder buttons to switch between, uh, between these tabs and, and then just kind of navigate around. It's, it gives you information about what all everything is and so on. So. Yeah. Sneaking up on this guy. Those bastards. We need to get this. Here they come again! This is the part where you move all the yeah, My soul to death! Don't put. Damn it! It's that prisoner again! Kill him! He might be working with the assassins. Uh, uh, no, he is not one of them. So, there are going to be some plot spoilers uh, during the course of these next 12 hours. Uh, I invite you to view uh, judiciously, use your discretion. Uh, Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced barbarian. <laughs> Am I right? Not a bad guess. Not a bad guess. So, that's a pretty cool part. Uh, based on how you've been playing up till this point, the game actually suggests a character class for you. Here are all these different prefab character classes that are in the game. It's like a whole bunch, and you may be thinking, wow, that's that's a whole bunch of different character classes, but in fact, they're they're just sort of a a sum of their different specializations, favorite attributes, and major skills. Uh, that's, that's actually very similar to the system in Morrowind. The, the fact that characters actually notice you when you approach them with a drawn sword or something, um, it, it speaks to the level of detail that they went for in this game. So really the question is just how well all these different features were implemented. Ah, much better. The red arrow on your compass shows the direction to Wainon Priory. You can walk there by following your compass, or you can use your world map to travel there directly, or you can set off in any direction and begin exploring the world on your own. Good luck. You'll need it. Um, here we are. 
little butterfly. Can I kill yeah. it? You found a gate to oblivion. <laughs> down, one left, but not good. I'm only about an hour and change in so far, and the, the story's already gotten quite interesting, and I just narrowly escaped death. How did death. you get in here? Okay. Oh, great. More of these. What's this? What do we have? Okay. Oh, there's a guy helping me, that's good. Alright. Uh, careful there, my friend. <sighs> Did you see what just happened? Uh, dude? Forget the shield? Forget the shield. I'm gonna drop the shield. Forget it. It's for cowards. Okay, activate blood fountain. Always a good decision. Oh! My health is rapidly regenerating, it seems. I've got a bad feeling this is also known as the boss fight fountain. We're all wondering the same thing right now. Your acrobatic scale increased on the plus side. So, we've learned a valuable lesson here today. If you jump off a bridge, your acrobatic skill increases. Yeah! yeah. called junk in the trunk. Sigil keep key. Oh. Quickly, quickly, there's no time. You must get to the top of the large tower. The sigil keep, they call it. That's what keeps the oblivion gate open. Uh. <laughs> Is that Darth Maul? <laughs> there you go. Gotta love physics. Myself I and these civilians. Okay. We've come to a point where um, we need to test out uh, certain much vaunted anger. features. That anger keeps me going. There were others, sir. Yeah. I'm on your side. Huh. Very well. Hey, the area outside yeah. the chapel is clear. Me once more, and I'm yeah. But sir, I want yeah. to help fight. By the nine divine. Assault! Assault! That, my friends, is called the straw that broke the camel's back. Bring up my weak points a little bit. All right, I'm now level two. Feels good. That seems to all be intact, uh, but. You know, that it's really just a question of how much there is to this game. Because Morrowind, they, they promised, you know, 200 hours of gameplay, and that sounded totally crazy. But it turned out to be the truth. In fact, there's still people playing Morrowind today. It's like I stunned him. Yeah. Guy's just running around on fire. No wonder he's dying. Uh, I was able to procure through the untimely demise of my compatriots. But hey, now I look like that dude in the early screenshots of Oblivion. I'm 
I'm really uh, quite enjoying the game so far. Uh, of course, I enjoyed Morrowind quite a bit before it, and this is uh, this definitely reminds me of Morrowind in in in, in a very good way. Um, Apart from me having to narrate my experience, which, you know, this talking to myself thing is, is pretty, uh, pretty exciting in its own right, but... You help them drive the Daedra back. Yes, I'll come with you to Wayne and Priory, and hear what Joffrey has to say. Lead on. Now, Martin here is a story-specific character who seems quite important. So, my question is, what happens if I do this? You must help us! Alright. Such I recognize these guys. These are the guys from the beginning. Alright. I Watch out! There may be more of them! I don't know. Doesn't really seem like those guys needed that much help, to be honest. Memories of Dark Age of Camelot. Oh. Alright. Sir? Hey. He totally... Hmm. Save some for me next time. I think I've been, uh, poisoned. Why am I in here? I have no idea. Because it's there, that's why. And killing imps earns me... You see, when I set out to create my my orc thug and his, two, and his blunt weapon proficiency, this is pretty much what I had in mind. Uh, yes. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. Farewell, citizen. So, if I murder you, and no one is there to see it, is it a crime? That is the philosophical question we will explore at this time. God, a psycho. I was like the jumping Empire around. Is in chaos, but there is yet hope. Here is Martin Septim, true son of Uriel Septim. Hail, 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 Your Highness, the blades are at your command. You will be safe here until you can take up your throne. Joffrey. Oh. Move along, friend. Jeez, all right. Frickin' tavern. Oh, there's my buddy. The Arcane University. What is it, citizen? You can tell it's an Arcane University because it's got crazy purple fire. Keep us in mind for any future needs. Thank you. Thank you. I can't tell you how long I've been looking for this book. I don't like you much. Yeah! <laughs> Can I help you? My cousin says the beggars all work for the Grey Fox. It's rather frightening. Insert Metal Gear Solid reference here. Good day. You will possess the key to enlightenment. But do you have the wit and strength to use the- There's I told you to here. come alone! Oh. Kill them. I see how this goes. Alright. <laughs> Will yeah. 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 You are weak, like the gods you pray to. This game's ragdoll physics effects actually look really good. It's cool that the, these corpses all stick around and flop around and keep bashing them and all that stuff. You, know, you have to come up with an Just explanation. Maybe for the next game. Elder Scrolls V. I can eat for a day with a single coin. Have a coin, beggar. Thank you, kind sir. This guy's gonna turn out to be the last boss of the game. I'm saving up enough for some medicine. Begin! 
This gate is going to open. I'm going to run in here and start murdering people. Yeah. And you can decide how I do. Uh, I can't wait to see you tonight. My every day is spent thinking about when we will next be together. Soon we will be married and we can be together forever. Signed, your true love. And then Oblivion players all weep softly and cry themselves to sleep. All right. Yeah. Kind of a... Yeah. Kind of a depressing sound a little yeah. bit. Got two dogs at home. It's like what happens when they uh, run into the cat. Vampire uh. archer, great. Yeah. Oh, this is so not good. See you, bastards. Still have my Warhammer. That might be able to do me. At any rate, we are here in the ninth hour of GameSpot's first ever live gameplay marathon featuring the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. I remain uh, riveted to this game. There are an unlimited number of quests, it seems, that I could be undertaking right now. believe this, but uh, the fire alarm just went off in the building, and I can think of no more spectacular a conclusion uh, to GameSpot's first ever live gameplay marathon. Okay, we're ending pr prematurely. I gotta get out of here, because this whole building's gonna burn down, because apparently an oblivion gate has opened up in the building itself. Without further ado, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I'm gonna try to jump in to the chat room if uh, the building's still around. It's probably just a regular alarm. See you next time. Take care.